Now children, I will teach you how to do addition with regrouping method and with carry forward method. Okay. So the first one is regrouping method. So as the name suggests, what do you mean by regrouping? We are grouping it together. Right. So now if I give you the sum as 43 plus 17. Okay. So how will I solve? First, I will divide the number as tens and ones. T stands for tens and O stands for ones. Okay. So this 43 I can write as 4 tens and 3 ones. And this 17 I can write as 1 ten and 7 ones. Right. Yes. So from 3 you have to count 7. So after 3. So how will you count? Keeping 3 in mind and 7 in finger. So after 3 it is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So if I write here 10 ones and 4 plus 1 is 5. So I have 5 tens and 10 ones. How can you write 10 ones? 10 ones is nothing but 1 10 plus 0 ones. Right. Can you write after 9? It has to go forward, right? So this 10, this is called as regrouping. Where I am splitting this 10 ones as 1 10 plus 0 ones. How many 10s I have already with me? I have 5 tens plus. Now this 1 10 will get added. 1 10 plus 0 ones. So 5 plus 1 is how much? It is 6 tens plus 0 ones which is nothing but 60. So my answer is 60. Got it? Can we do one more? Okay. Your next sum is 55 plus 16. So what is the first step? First I will divide the numbers in tens and ones. So 55 I can write as 5 tens and 5 ones. And 16 I can write as 1 six, one tens and 6 ones. So shall we count? So keeping 5 in the mind and 6 in the finger. So after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So it becomes 11 ones. And what is 5 plus 1? 5 plus 1 is nothing but 6. Right. So now 11 ones. How can you split it? How can you regroup it? 11 ones can be written as 1 10 plus 1 1. Right. And how many tens I have with me? I have 6 tens. Right. So 6 tens plus 1 10. I will regroup it in one column and then plus 1 1. 6 plus 1 is how much? 7. So I have 7 tens plus 1 1 which is nothing but 71. So my answer is 71. So is, are you clear with the regrouping method children? It's only that this answer you are splitting it and then adding it with the tens to get the final answer. Okay. So this is how we are going to do the regrouping method. Clear?